Putin needs refineries in Navapolatsk and Mazir of Belarus. Ukrainian drones may fly there. A tenth of fuel production in the Russian Federation has been paralyzed as a result of Ukrainian attacks. This is a serious blow to the Russian economy. The Charter 97 website spoke about this with Ukrainian military political observer of the Information Resistance Group, Alexander Kovalenko. Firstly, the shocks affected the export of Russian petroleum products, which is the main item in filling the Russian budget. Secondly, internal economic destabilization occurred, which is already manifesting itself very eloquently. It affected domestic civilian and commercial consumers. Gasoline prices are rising, queues are lining up for it in a number of settlements and in some places there is a shortage, Kovalenko added. However, the Russian authorities do not pay much attention to civilians, but if the commercial component begins to suffer, then this again is an impact on the budget that finances the war against Ukraine. Thirdly, a blow was also struck to the supply of fuel and lubricants to the Russian occupation forces. Here I will immediately emphasize that Putin will sacrifice anything. Civilians, commerce, he may not even fill ambulances, but everything will be sent to war. Damaged plants. Refinery stations and transport hubs currently do not provide the full volume of petroleum products processing as well as their transit. The length of delivery of fuels and lubricants increases. The Russian occupying forces are beginning to feel a progressive deficit, but the first signs are already happening against the backdrop of a collapse in exports and a deficit for domestic consumers. Such attacks are effective, they will continue, if only for the reason that the restoration of any of these oil refineries in itself is unacceptable. In addition, there are several refineries left in the near-affected area that should be taken out of operation, the expert said. Perhaps Russia will use the Belarusian oil refineries in Mazir and Navapolatsk for its needs. Is there a possibility that some unidentified UAV will fly to these objects? According to the expert, it is possible that Putin will use them, but they will not be able to compensate for the dozens of Russian refineries that have failed or are temporarily out of order. This will be some kind of situational compensation that will not have a critical impact on the resumption of supply to the domestic consumer in the Russian Federation or the occupying army. On the other hand, if this facility takes part in this kind of support and supply, then who knows? In Belarus, after all, there are partisans who act in the interests of the Belarusian people and not the Lukashenko regime. It is possible that something could happen there too, Kovalenko said. On the night of March 20th, there was a drone attack on the Engels airfield located in the Saratov region of Russia. The Russian press reported on this. The governor of the province said that the anti-aircraft defense system was activated and Ukrainian drones were shot down, and there were no casualties as a result of the incident. Local residents say that explosions took place in several places. According to the Russian Ministry of Defense, for drones were shot down over the Saratov region, IT should be noted that Engels airfield is home to strategic bombers that launch missile strikes on Ukraine. IT should be recalled that there was a drone attack on the Engels airbase in December 2022. As a result, six soldiers died, two planes were damaged. Thank you.